Operation Relocate the Homeless. This is an interview with KUAM and Attorney General Douglas Moylan early Thursday. We were asking about the initiative as the five-day notice has since expired for those living in the Dededo encampment. But I think for all involved, we have to we have to keep the date and time uh, confidential. It is a these uh, encampments and this encampment in particular has been uh, in the reports seen as having drug use and uh, weapons in there. The community will see the results. Uh, hopefully very soon. And soon was just minutes later. KUAM is first at the site near the Micronesian Mall intersection. While speaking to a couple of the people packing up, we see Dedito Mayor Melissa Savares and her team arrive. A woman who once lived here returned to help her relatives move out. Bring it out so that because this needs to get okay, let her bring it out. Yeah. Savar is giving them promising news. We have a place. There, there are different agencies that are there that are going to help you. A large amount of GovGuam officials, including Office of Homelessness Assistance and Poverty Prevention, Department of Public Works, and Guam Police Department, responding. SWAT officers quickly stormed the property to clear it out. We follow close behind. Officers armed and in full gear as they head into the jungled area and keep watch of their surroundings. Okay, sir, just until we make sure it's safer, just from the officer instructs us to keep a distance until they search those living here. A closer look beyond the trees, we see more than a handful of people slowly being brought out. Officers searching each of them and letting them know they need to go today. We take a look inside at the setup once everybody is brought out of the jungle. Police letting the mayor and others know they still need to secure the area. And this officer letting me know why they had to keep watch for everyone there. Just for your info and safety, we already found knives on these people, so try not to get too close for your own safety. We again speak with the Dedido mayor. Wow. Seeing the cops mobilized like that and seeing all the resources that are coming out here for an effort like this, people might be torn about what they're seeing. What can you say to that? Um, you know, this is really, I'm concerned that emotionally some of these people might um, feel that they're being picked on. But I really want to just assure that we're here for their safety and we're going to make sure that um, that whatever their services that can be, they can afford to uh, take advantage of it. By midday, much of the items were bagged and labeled. Government-owned truck beds, excavators and more ready to clean up the private property. It's just the start of more to come to address the island's homeless problem. As for those who once called this area home, the mayor says three were placed into a temporary homeless shelter. They will get additional assistance to help them get back on their feet. The rest of them went to stay with relatives.